Chris Banquero, of course, had uh, health issues recently in terms of yung, uh, injuries niya and has been getting better and better as the game's gone by and making us look good, Chris Banquero. And uh, since mas maliit yung import ng Meralco Bolts, mm -hmm. it's always going to be a challenge for the biggest man on the team for Meralco, which is Raymond Almazan, to be productive as Banquero gets all five points so far for Meralco. Defensive skills has, have definitely improved because of uh, the other guards that are on his team, like Barocca and Halalo, and that, you know, he, he gets challenged to do better as well. Rafi Rivas gets the first field goal by the Magnolia. Back to the action here as KJ McDaniels could not finish inside the first time, but gets it the second. And uh, Nick Rakosevich, all these guys very physical down low that you need to box him out. Bong Quinto from a corner, and Almazan really challenging Rakosevic for the rebounds, and the second chance opportunity falls for Chris Banquero. So Ian Sangalang in the ball game as well, and at the sequence Leon, he held off Raymond Almazan so Nick Rakosevic could get the rebound. Mark Baroka over Almazan. Two point lead here for the Maralco Bolts after that bucket from Mark Baroka. Mark Baroka always a steady presence on the floor. Para sa Magnolia, Aaron Black trying his luck from three. Mark Baroka, Brigay Nick Rakosevic. Answers back with three of his own. Five on two, and Gio Halalon makes it count. Very close. He's here in the venue also. Oh, mamayam pasha manakita as Aaron Black finishes high off the glass. And Sangalang out to Baroka. Baroka, okay, Abueva, Abueva gets a three to fall. Meralco want to get over Magnolia. Ahan Misi. Buzz up for three. Great look, great bucket. Almost 35% from beyond the arc. And six points a ball game for Ahan Misi. Quinto over the outstretched hands of Rakosevic. Stuck in a pick and roll and Halalon. He was looking for options. He doesn't like to shoot first, but when he does, he makes it. Out to Gio Halalon. Halalon. Gives it back to Abueva. Abueva in the paint, off the glass. Offensively, defensively, he likes where the ball is. Quinto, that's a tough shot. And Bong Quinto has been a ray of hope here for the Maralco Bolts in the first quarter. And the Maralco Bolts, though, after the first 12 minutes of action, still down by eight. For the swipe it. And Aaron Black drains a much needed three pointer for the Maralco Bolts. Five point lead. And that's a legal play once it bounces off that rim. Almazan, rim running and finishing. Ended it on the defensive end and ended it in the offensive end. Corpus, jumper from the elbow is good. Especially in the interior and for rebounds. Banquero sails in with the floater. And obviously everybody's trying to get uh, ahead by not getting caught, but holding on a little bit too long. KJ McDaniels hanging on to the air, getting past Rakosovic. Also with four rebounds and a single assist. Rakosovic, Binigay K. Corpus. Now Paul Lee pulling up for three. Yes. And Paul Lee, you know, he's seen the ball go into the hoop so many times already because of the free throws he's been taking. Aaron Black relocated for his jumper and gets that to fall. To bring a different kind of intensity in the court. So during their, their 12 day break, extra preparations were in line for Aaron to anticipate this matchup. Now Mark Baroka. He's in the pick from Sangalang. And almost stolen away. Paul Lee left open for three. That's a lay in for Paul Lee. <laughs> you cannot leave him open. Can't get that to go. Rakosovic could not corral the rebound, but Calvin Abueva's there trying to keep it alive. Abueva still there. Abueva Paren kicks it out to Paul Lee. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Cliff Hodge trying to contain Rakosovic. Rakosovic looking for his second field goal and gets it. Almazan with a block on Rakosevic. Kicked out to Mark Baroka. Baroka. Now to Calvin Abueva. Abueva feeding Ian Sangalang. Working on Almazan. Ian, the fadeaway. Gets at the fall. Making it tough, even if he was able to make that two points. Aaron Black. Now to KJ McDaniels. Couple of jabs in the face of Calvin Abueva. As Banquero goes all the way in by himself. Aaron Black, Banquero in front of him. Gio Halalon tried to stop him, but KJ McDaniels there to clean it up. And now Banquero, chance to run here. Cliff Hodge in front, and Cliff Hodge can't collect. Leaves it for Aaron Black. Now KJ McDaniels has it, and KJ with the finish. KJ, the feed to Aaron. Aaron, pull up three. Yes! 
KJ McDaniels. Davin Abueva right in front of him. Left open again for a second, and you can't leave him alone. It is 51 to 46 in favor of the Morocco Bulls, and in the first half, we'll be right back with more. Don't go away. B. Escudero patrolling sidelines for us as Meralco tried to extend their win streak here, and Bong Quinto gets at the fall with a bucket that hit every part of the rim, but still getting his points on the board. De La Rosa, Benilike Mark Barroca. Barroca. Snaking, trying to get the defense moving. Calvin Abueva, open for three, pulls up and makes it. As KJ McDaniels could not find Raymond Almazan inside. It's the Mark Barroca trying to trim the deficit. Leaves it for Paul Lee, and Lee gets it to fall. Mark Barroca. To Rakosevic inside, gets the bucket and one. Now KJ McDaniels finds Bonquinto. Bonquinto the only field goal so far in the half. Paris Meralco gets the second one to fall. 57 to 55, two point lead by Magnolia. Rakosevic lost the handle. Aaron Black tried to tap it, but Rakosevic finishes anyway. On the line, you po, 15 and 0 run Paris Meralco. Oh, good find that time by Banquero. Aaron Black to Banquero to the corner. Bon Quinto, yes. Then take a look at the three point shooting numbers. Eight of 22 Paris Meralco. Paul Lee with the floater gets that to go. Nick Rakosevic, Pinilitke Mark Baroka. Baroka looked around, tried to finish off the glass, and Ian Sangalang now back to Rakosevic. But then Baralco protesting the Gumagalo but in the rim after Nick Rakosevic hung on. Now running, talking about Magnolia. Banquero in front of Lee. Mark Baroka sails in for the lay in. If they want to see more of it, would be more movement on the offense. Coach Norman expects to see the same energy from the Bolts here in the third quarter. Back to you guys. Marang salamat, Bea, as Mark Barroca scores and won once more. Pinilike Aaron Black. Aaron Black, can he get going here? Working on Mark Barroca. He has a size advantage, but then tapped away. Rakosovic on the run. Banqueros in front of him. Oh. And the wraparound finish from Nick Rakosovic. Uh, in the backcourt to try to change things up for them. Get Magnolia a little bit out of rhythm. De La Rosa gets in on the party. Now Gio, a bit of a change here lineup-wise for the Meralco Bolts as they're trying something different. And Rome De La Rosa finishes under the rest. Rome De La Rosa now on the run. Gio Halalon has Andrew Karam to beat. Calvin Obueva inside, bucket and one. Look at Aris Dionisio who is making his first appearance in the game. Halalon to Abueva. Abueva, little fake, can't finish. Pero nandun ulit si Junisio and Ian Sangalang now off the glass. Rakosevic with 12. Then you have De La Rosa with back-to-back -back threes. Then you also have Barroca with seven points this quarter. Aris Junisio, binig kay Jackson Corpus. Corpus to Paul Lee. Paul Lee left open and Paul Lee gets another three. Their teammates getting the open looks and just knocking them down. KJ gets the bucket and one. Aaron, getting past the defense, finds Bong Quinto. Johnson, pull up three, his first contribution of the game, gets three to ball. Uh, they're hoping that that three-point shot of Frankie Johnson will wake things up for the Bolts. But Paul Lee, can he strike back? Yes, he can! Off the glass! And Paul Lee pushes the lead up to 93-74. to 74 Could it be the biggest the quarter this conference? We'll, we will have to check on that, especially with uh, Sir Fidel Mahono and Ascaven Abueva. Showing no signs of yung hip spasms na naramdaman niya kanina. Rakosevich with nine, Barroca with seven, and then you have Halalon Abueva. Isolated on KJ McDaniels, got him up on the feet, and Ian Sangalang with his easiest bucket of the day. But still, could not take advantage on about Meralco. Well, after this ball game, Magnolia still has to play rain or shine on December 2, that's Friday. Oh, Almazan may have tweaked his ankle. Chris Banquero. Kyle Pascual finishes off the glass right in the face of Calvin Abueva. Probably the last we've seen of Raymond Almazan in this game in particular. Mm -hmm. Or well, they're playing NLEX on Wednesday, then they're playing San Miguel on Friday. Calvin Abueva trying to attack Kyle Pascual, gets a bucket and one. Bonquinto, Mark Barroca still holding on to his right shoulder. KJ McDaniel sails in for two. Mismatch with KJ, Calvin Abueva pulls up for three again. Short shot clock in Sangalang, offensive rebound and the finish. Barroca, the spin. The pass to Ahan Misi. Ahan Misi slipped. Banquero, Rigeke Frankie Johnson. Johnson pulls up for three. Johnson gets it to go. Working on KJ McDaniels. Cliff Hodge trying to give the help and the spin and the finish for me and Sangalang. That was vintage. 
So Paul Lee already with 25 points in this game. Let's see if he can add on to his tally here. KJ McDaniels going inside. Tip Hodge with the follow. Gets it to Johnson. Quinto in the corner. Has to turn around and shoot. And he gets it to go anyway. Quinto to McDaniel. McDaniels hits a three. Paul Lee. Lee on the attack. Going in for the lay-in. Looking for an option. Andrew Karam inside to Frankie Johnson. Left open for three. And Johnson drains another. As Mark Baroka will drive inside. Attacking Bong Quinto. And Nick Rakosevic couldn't add on to his stats. But Ian Sangalang says, okay, another offensive rebound by Kai Rakosevic. Final score brought to you by Honda. The official motorcycle of the PBA. 108-96 to 96 in favor of the Magnolia Hotshot.